Oxford, described as close-knit. But there's something else going on here in the wake of the Oxford High School shooting. The shooting has divided this entire town. There's a lot of fighting, a lot of differences of opinions. Is there a right way to recover? Are some parents being judged for trying to take action? Tonight, parents of a shooting victim break their silence and open up about their son's recovery after being shot. The Watsons have kept fairly quiet about their son Aiden and his struggle to recover after being shot at Oxford High School last November. Tonight, they are giving us a rare glimpse inside their family to show what they're dealing with. And it has taken months for the Watsons to come forward. Their priority has been their son's healing after being shot. Tonight, they want to share this bumpy, troubling, overwhelming road to recovery as they give us a rare look inside Aiden's life after that bullet tore through his leg and what else happened inside their small town they never expected. Oxford, Michigan, with its charming vibes, people move here for the heart of this community. This was our Mayberry. This was everything we wanted. For Linda and Jared Watson, Oxford was a dream come true. Until it wasn't. Aiden was shot in the hallway and ran back into his classroom. His friend looked at him and said, Aiden, you've been shot. We gotta get out of here. And while this was happening, Aiden's calling me while he's running, bleeding. As school is about to return, the Watsons have decided to share their story in hopes of bringing change, accountability, and a better understanding of the scars these students share. I'm glad that we're doing this because I have heard from people, oh, that's not over yet? I thought he was healed. Or, well, he only got shot in the leg. After 50 straight days of bleeding, countless doctors and physical therapy appointments, Aiden is making progress, but has many limitations. His first doctor said, well, he did get shot. He might have to deal with this pain for the rest of his life. These days, you can find the 15-year-old on Lake Mickelson in Oxford. He likes to fish for bass and bluegill, finding comfort in the quiet. It's just peace. There's no noise, there's no worries. It's hard on levels you can't even comprehend. You can be at a swim meet and see someone who looks like the shooter and you, you start to shake and cry. He starts to kind of have hard shortness of breath and he's like, I just need to get out of here. One minute he's okay, loud noises, watch a movie. The next, he's hearing gunfire that's not there. Hey dad, when I go back to school, I'm gonna always be looking around. This is never gonna happen to me again. I won't be surprised. What kid has to say that about school? Aiden's siblings, Caleb and Annabelle, have become second parents for their little brother. He didn't want to be left alone, so they would go with him to different things, um, to youth group, to when he wanted to go maybe see a friend. Aiden's sister also sat in class with him this spring when he was willing to go to school. And the deal was she was there, she had a car, so whether or not it, it felt dangerous to him, he needed that quick escape. While Aiden works on his mental and physical recovery, his parents, Linda and Jared, are dealing with something totally unexpected. Division in Oxford, as not all parents agree on what should change at Oxford High School. There's a lot of fighting, a lot of differences of opinions, and we understand that. I know people experience this trauma in multiple ways, and everybody has a different way of healing. Are you treated differently? We have been treated differently. It feels like we are in the minority. Um, we don't know where we fit. Or if you have an opinion, you say something, well, they didn't do this right. Well, they did everything they could do. That's your perspective. Your kid's home, your kid's safe, right? Your kid didn't call you and say, mom, help me, I've been shot. Linda and Jared are still so frustrated with the school. They really want that third party investigation, also want accountability for staff that dealt with the shooter and then sent the, him back to class. He was only shot. I That's know, a very, very strange thing. That's I tough. That. I'm really curious, though, about his thoughts now about going back to school. Well, Aiden wants to go back, but obviously there's so much stress there because obviously there's 
the bus, yep. there's crowds, right. there's sure. people, yes. there's noises. He's going to attempt. School starts next week. Yep. He doesn't know if he's going to make it through the whole week. Meantime, he's avo he's not able to do everything he wants to do. He was in marching band, but he can't stand that long. His legs are too weak. Mm -hmm. So he wants to try something extracurricular. He doesn't know exactly what, but August 25th is the first day back, and there's so much more that people don't realize that these kids are dealing That's with. That's why I'm so glad that the, uh, that the parents talked to you about this. This is a whole different piece that we really have not talked about very much. It was hard. Understood. I've been texting sure. with Linda today going, how are you doing? Yeah. She's like, I'm nervous, yep, yep. but I want right. to share what happened to Aiden. Yeah, yep. well, I'm glad they did. Yeah.